Watch you guys in this video, we're taking a look at how to create a cool PowerPoint presentation intro slide. This can be used for podcasts or you can use it for presentations, uh, streams and stuff like that, whatever you want really. I'll show you how to do it in PowerPoint. Very simple and easy to do, but has quite a good effect. So let's open up our PowerPoint here. And what we're going to do is open up a new blank presentation. This one is super easy. Anyone can create this. So I thought I'll make a quick video to show you how to do it. So just highlight all of this and delete this. We don't need this. We just need a blank slide here. And once we've got this done, we need to create a new slide. So we're going to have two slides up here. And we can delete also all of this stuff here. So let's just highlight it and then delete. There we go. So now we've got two blank slides. And uh, what we need to do now is add in our image that we want to use. Now, this can be any image of uh, your choice, whether it will be some sort of podcast image or whether it will be some sort of presentation that you're doing. The very intro of it, this is what you're going to be doing. So go up to the top and put insert pictures and you go to this device or you can use online pictures, whatever you want here. I'm going to use uh, this device because I have got a image that I want to use. So let's go ahead and click on the image that I'm going to use here just to show you. Now, of course, you can use your imagination and use a much better image than this. I've just basically created this. So I'm just going to align this to center, and I'm also going to align this to the middle to make sure it's uh, properly centered and in the middle there. Now, of course, you would be using your image in this uh, situation. So choose the image that you want to use. I'm just using this as a tutorial purpose so you can see basically how you would uh, get this effect. So there we have our image. Let me add a bit of text on here. So I'm just going to quickly insert uh, some text here. So let's go up to insert and then we can add a text box. So let's click on here and I'm just going to add a bit of text in the bottom here. Maybe say something along the lines of uh, welcome uh, to my YouTube channel, something like that. You can use whatever you like. I'm just going to do this so you can see basically the sort of effect you can get. So let me quickly type this out. And uh, what we'll do is we'll highlight this and make it white because at the moment the font is dark and you can't see it. So we need to highlight this and change the font color and also the font size and also the type of font that you want to use. You can do at this stage right here. So just highlight all of this stuff. And we're going to go in here and open up the palette here and just basically change the color to white. And we can also change the type of font, which is uh, something I want to do here. So let's go here. Maybe this cool arcade one will look cool. And we've got that changed. And now what we need to do is change the size of this font. So let me quickly highlight this and change the size to it. Maybe something like 80 or something like that. So let's go ahead and make that change. You can see it's gone really massive now. So we need to align this uh, onto the screen better. Let me just quickly speed this part up. There we go. Now we're going to align this and make sure it is in the center. And basically just go arrange. And on here, you're not interested up the top here. What you're looking for is down the bottom here where it says align. So go to align center. We don't want to go middle here because I want to drag this down the bottom like so but that's where I want mine. So that looks okay. I'll just leave that as is. Again, you could be a bit more creative here. Let me just change these two capitals. There we go, and that's done. So that part is now finished. So what we want to do is create the intro part for our presentation or for whatever it is that we're doing, maybe a podcast or something like that or some sort of uh, other thing that you want to use it for. So what we're going to do is go up to uh, Transitions, and inside transitions, we're going to go and look for curtains. When you click on curtains, you'll see some white curtains will open. The reason why they're white is because we have a white slide up the top. So we've added the curtains feature on here. And you can see that it's a really cool effect that you can use for some sort of opening presentation or the opening of your podcast or whatever it is you want to use it for. So let's go ahead and make some changes to this white slide. And I'll show you how you can spice it up a little bit and make it look even better. So let's go up to here and use the fill color and change the fill color to some sort of red or uh, maroon or something like that, whatever color you want to use, but I'm just going to use this one here. That'll do. And again, what we've got here now is we've got 
some red curtains. We've changed the white to red. And we let's go to preview here and take a quick look at that. So now we've got the red curtains opening up across the screen and you can then use this as your presentation or your intro to your presentation that you're going to give. But I want to add a bit more to this. So let's go to insert here, pictures, and then this device and choose our logo. And we can now choose our logo and insert this onto the red slide. We can now resize this to whatever size we want. And of course, we need to make sure that this is aligned correctly. So I'm going to align this and I'm going to make sure that it's centered and it's in the middle. You can choose what size you want. But basically now when we go back here, we can now go back to uh, the transitions and go preview. And you can see we've got this really cool effect. And uh, basically that looks absolutely awesome uh, for some sort of presentation and stuff. Uh, just to open and get you started. And that's basically how you can add the curtain feature into your intros of your presentations. It looks pretty good. Let's do a full screen version here so you can see what it will look like full screen. And it's great the way it incorporates that logo into the curtains there. I'll do one more so you can see it. Looks pretty awesome. Give it a go. Really simple and easy to do. And it really is a decent effect. Now let's assume you don't want a red slide and you want something a bit more outrageous. Well, you could go to the online uh, pictures here and choose some sort of image that suits your need and uh, basically do a search, say, for instance, tech here. You can see Creative Commerce only, and you can use those uh, on there. But I've got my own image here, which I'm going to use. And basically, I'm going to use this matrix one here just to show you exactly what it will look like if you want to add an image with something like this because you don't have to just have red you can do whatever image you like here so i'm just going to quickly resize this to make sure it fits center in the slide that i want here and there we go we've got that done and what i'm going to do now is preview this and you should now see some matrix curtains opening up here pretty cool effect and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can create a cool intro for your presentations or your uh, podcast or whatever it is you're going to be using it for. So I hope this one's been some sort of use to you. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. And I hope you have a great weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.